Hello pre-calc students and welcome to a video that uh, allows you to use the sum and difference formulas to establish some nice trig identities. So um, this is sum and difference example 5 and uh, we're going to start out by establishing the identity uh, that is the cosine of pi over 2 plus theta equaling the same thing as the negative sine of theta. Now just think about that for a minute. If you were to graph the cosine function and then move it over pi over 2 units to the left, that would be the same thing as if you graphed the sine function and reflected it. That's what this is saying. So from a graphical perspective, we could look at the graphs and see that. We're not going to do that. We're going to focus more uh, because it would be the same thing. <laughs> it would be one right on top of the other. We're going to focus on using the, the sum and difference formula. So this is the cosine of a sum, right? One of the angles is known, and the other one is unknown. Um, but that's not going to matter. It's still going to reduce down uh, to the identity. So let's start out by just expanding this, this being alpha and this being beta, and we're using the sum formula. So going to the cosine of a sum, we're going to use... Uh, this one right here. Okay, cosine, cosine, and then minus the sine, sine. So the formula we're going to use here is that the cosine of pi over 2 times the cosine of theta um, minus the sine of pi over 2 times the sine of theta. Um, for the left side, and we're going to see what that reduces down to. So the cosine of pi over 2 is the x value at pi over 2, which is 0. So this is actually 0 times the cosine of theta. And the sine of pi over 2 is actually 1. So this is minus 1 times the sine of theta. Okay, well, we have 0 of these minus 1 of these. That's just the same thing as negative sine of theta. So the identity is correct. Okay, let's look at uh, another one. So this is saying that if we took the tangent, uh, reflection of the tangent, and moved it over, we would get the same thing as a reflection of the tangent. So something um, to that effect. Again, showing the graphs would just be showing the same graph twice. So another way of thinking of it is if you took the tangent function, reflected vertically, you would get this uh, the same thing as this function. Okay, so let's simplify. This is um, also a difference of two angles. One of them is known and one of them is not. Actually, this is a difference while the other example was a sum. Um, the known angle is 2 pi. Sorry, I guess I should, we already know that. I, I'm just going to call that alpha. And the unknown angle we're going to call that beta, just so we can use the formula. And the tangent of alpha minus beta is this one right here. So we're going to use the minus in the numerator and the plus in the denominator. Okay, so this is the same thing as the tangent of 2 pi minus the tangent of theta over 1 plus their product. So the tangent of 2 pi times the tangent of theta. And these are multiplied down here. <clears throat> okay, so what is the tangent of uh, 2 pi? Well, at 2 pi, y is 0. Same thing as at 0, y is 0. So this is going to be the tangent here is 0. So this is going to be 0 minus the tangent of theta over 1 plus 0 again times the tangent of theta. Okay, well, this 0 just goes away. And this zero tangent of theta goes away, and we just have one in the denominator. And you can see that this is just going to be the negative tangent in the numerator over one in the denominator, which is just negative, neg negative tangent of theta. So that one works too. Okay, hope you found this video helpful.